Hello everyone, in this short video I'm going to talk about the new interface of uh, Microsoft uh, Azure Machine Learning Workspace. So that's a new one that uh, have been uh, introduced in Ignite 2019 in, in November actually, so uh, just a month ago. Uh, so before that we have, uh, if you remember from the uh, what I have in the video and blog post, we have experiment and also we have different pipeline commute model. And also beside that, we have a menu here that shows the designer, the automated email and the notebook. But you couldn't see it anymore here because we have a need to go to the launch to the uh, studio that is in preview. So I'm click on that. It's going to open the Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio environment for me. So uh, when you're going that actually, as you see here, we have notebook that actually is so similar to the Azure notebook and Jupyter notebook. So you can uh, kind of start to work on that. Uh, or also we have automated ML here. So uh, before we have on the different uh, environment and also we have designer so designer is actually same as the one that we have previously named as azure machine learning studio so i'm going to the automated ml uh, as you see these are the uh, previous one that i'm already have uh, actually run it so i can see them all here so same as before you can click on new automate run so you can click here you can add data set from here. I just want to show you. You can get data from your local machine. So uh, you can provide what is the data set you want. So as you see, select file. It can be Excel. It can be CSV file. You can get it. Or uh, just back to the previous step. Just cancel it. Or you can get from a data store so you can provide the data store that you have the data set is a tabular or not and these are the data store that you have in your computer so uh, you see that azure blob and kind turner you can get your data and put the path here or another way is actually from the web you can identify the url to that so many data um, mostly for free data source they are free you can use it or you can get it from open data sources so there are a list of the actually data set that is available for you like a taxi one chicago safety data public holidays and many other and you can use them so i'm going to actually uh, get it from my local computer so i can browse it so for example i upload titanic one i already top upload it and you can actually provide the advanced setting to that so it's going to upload where and the other information and it will be available because i'm already have a titanic one so i use the one that i have and i'm going to the next step so in the next step we actually we uh, specify the experiment name so i call it as auto ml experimental and you should specify which column you want to predict so that's a survive column and uh, also you need to specify the virtual machine you have so uh, there is a opportunity that you can uh, actually access to the different uh, actually uh, virtual machine through that uh, you can specify that create a new compute here which i use the one that i already have so here now actually uh, same as before we have three category of the machine learning that is classification regression and time series forecasting so uh, to actually this one is more related to the classification but also you can uh, for other problem you can also use time series and regression so uh, and here you see that we have the option to do the enable the deep learning so there are some deep learning method if you have a text data that you can use it because i don't have i just click on that and you see that at the here we have some view 
additional configuration settings so if i'm coming here you will see that uh, because this is automated ml that means that it's going to use some specific metric for accuracy uh, for uh, evaluating the models so because it's going to apply different machine learning model on your data so there should be a measure to see which one perform better than the other so here you can choose which metric you want because the classification you can choose accuracy normal marker recall average precision score precision score weighted and auc weighted uh, here i just choose that one uh, here we actually have an automatic featureization that actually help you to do the automatic feature creation also explain the best model is actually help you to uh, better explain that here you can access to a list of the algorithm uh, we have a list of the algorithm that apply for classification so these are the lists that I get from the Microsoft documentation. You will see that, for example, for classification, these are the algorithm that has been used. So you can choose them that which one don't apply. So here you can click here to see them here and choose which one you don't want to apply. So you can choose many of them, for example, some of them that you don't want to apply and see that that actually how it work so i just uh, remove many of them so just two of them will be applied so also you can specify for how many hours is actually should run because it's going to apply different algorithm so i said just one hour you can specify the metric XOR threshold validation type and also concurrency one. so i actually set it up also you have a featureization setting so you're actually able to set the view what is the feature type so you can specify that one and you can set uh, what the impute should be and it also provides some example of data and then later on i will more going through that so this is the one so now we are actually ready to run it so when i click on run is actually is going to create a new machine learning model for that so it take at least couple of minutes to run the machine learning here so in the meanwhile uh, after it's a bit go ahead you can see the lag the output and the properties that we have so you will see all of the detail here uh, when it's running actually you can back here and check the other model that we already have so you can check each of them that has actually the run for them gone so for example this is the one that i run about uh, is actually in november 2019 uh, and you can see that how many runs so it actually goes for three runs and uh, three main runs and the one that has more is actually is that one you can see the uh, information about the what's happening what is the process happened through here all of the process has been documented here and you can access to the actually what is happen you can also uh, look at the output of that and some visualization about the model so i'm going to show the one that actually has explained the model and more than 10 algorithm apply so here you can see the list of the models this is the previous experiment so you can see the accuracy and everything for the different algorithm so you see that how many different algorithm with different parameter has been applied that time and this one with the highest actually accuracy has been choose so you actually you're able to see that also you can see the uh, cross validation about tenfold that has happened here uh, there is a problem with a missing value that actually apply and has been solved so all of the uh, activity that has been done through that you can do that so uh, and you can deploy it so actually you can see the view detail of the model you can see that one you can see the uh, if there is explanation have been active 
or any visualization regarding that about the precision and the other things you can also the confusion matrix you can see here which is actually good so now actually your model is ready and you can easily deploy it uh, i will talk about the deployment later on uh, uh, just back to the uh, where we are and see that what's the, our model actually is working now so let's look at that one so this is the actual this one just click on that still it is running is not completed yet uh still running so this is the one that actually is still fine still on process and analyzing the data so it's not getting ready you see that it is running so uh in the uh, next video i'm going through the explanation how we can deploy it through that process and we will have a more uh, actually look on how it actually happen and how we can actually use it so uh, you can see the more features like edit table and how to deploy it through the automated machine learning and also the uh, there is another video about the designer and how it can be used and of course about notebook and pipeline so many more coming and we are going to look at the other features we have here so thanks so much for watching this video uh, just an introduction hope you enjoy it and i will put more videos soon